Sex workers of Kolkata, Sonagachi and other red light areas in West Bengal will confront the biggest threat of contracting the coronavirus COVID-19 when the lockdown is lifted and customers start visiting their brothels again, medical specialists said. The brothels are shut until the end of May, a month beyond the end of April at an extended lockdown expected to be lifted. The relief materials in the form of rice, lentils and potatoes are being supplied to those who may be in need by the government agencies, elected representatives and non-government organizations. Relief will stop coming once the lockdown is over, but it would be of great danger if the sex workers are allowed to operate as soon as the lockdown is lifted. Due to their nature of work and the congested way in which they live, a single case can infect a hundred. DMSC, which has about 65,000 members, all of them sex workers spread across 50 red light areas in the state, has launched a social media campaign to raise money so that the sex workers can be supported even when the lockdown and avoid having to accept customers. On average, Sonagachi draws 35,000 footfalls per day. Most houses in the area that function as brothels have 30 to 35 residents. There would be huge crowds the moment the lockdown is lifted. It would be impossible for sex workers to identify people carrying the virus. And if they are not provided with some monetary relief apart from fruit grains, a section of them would accept clients and that would create a great risk, said the district authorities. He said that the organization had requested the police to ensure the area remains under lockdown until the end of May. However, the 450 or sex workers living here would be provided for in May remains to be decided. Organizations working in the stratal towns of Bardwan and Sansol have taken similar decision of keeping the red light area out of bounds of the clients of sex workers until the end of May. Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee told the police commissioner of Kolkata to provide food to the sex workers and transgender communities in the city. Similar instructions were also issued to the Hara police commissioner.